What's up everybody, Jeremy Weiss here with Weiss Tech Hockey and in this video I wanted to show you a full speed breakout progression that I've been using that I really like. Now there's a lot that goes on in this drill um, with quite a few variations of it. So I kind of recommend this one for higher level teams. Um, older teams are very skilled teams. The reason why is just because there's so much going on, there's a lot of passing going on, um, a lot of different points at which the, br the drill can break down. So anytime that you have a drill that's you know got a lot of moving parts, a lot of working parts, um, the tendency to mess it up can be higher unless you have a very focused, um, developed team that has some pretty good skills as well. So let's go ahead, we'll take a look at the rink, and um, I'm going to show you the basic variation and then a few additional variations that you might want to uh, mess around with. So you can see what we've got here is we've got forwards on the blue lines, um, then we've got a centerman in the middle to start the drill. We'll put the other centerman somewhere out in uh, kind of in the neutralized, just out of the way so that they don't get in the way of the drill as the drill is progressing. Then we've got two defensemen in the corner going. Um, the other defenseman can just kind of wade in behind them in the corners as well. We've also got pucks in the corner. So this is the setup. Um, like I said, there's a lot of different ways of doing this drill. But here's what the basic drill is going to be. We're going to take and um, very first thing we're going to start with is a D to D pass. So we're going to go D to D pass behind the net. Um, this is a really good way of getting your defenseman used to the angles behind the net, so making that little bank pass. Um, if you want to even get more simple than this, you can actually just have the defenseman skate it behind the net and initiate the breakout from there. But like I said, this is a little bit more advanced, so we're going to show you the advanced variations of this. Then as that pass is being made, what we're going to do is we are going to have this forward swing in and be presenting himself as an option. So in this situation, we're doing a top-down breakout. That's the breakout that I generally use with my more advanced teams. Um, there's a lot of different reasons for that. We won't get into that in this video. But if your team likes to do the bottom-up breakout, meaning you start from the top, swing down, you can do that. The only thing I'd recommend changing is taking your line, sliding it a little bit more towards the middle of the ice, and then that way you've got a better angle um, for your forwards to come swing down, pivot, and pick up the pass along the boards. Um, but, like I said, for this one, I'm just going to kind of draw it up the way that I use it, and we will demonstrate it that way. But like I said before, there's a lot of different ways you can tweak and adjust this. So, um, we're going to have our forward come in, uh, assuming that he's a lefty, because these should be our left wingers over this side. Um, he's going to be presenting his stick towards the middle of the ice to pick up the pass on his forehand. And as that pass is being made, he will take, pick up the puck, and kind of loop in towards the middle of the ice. And then for this phase of the drill, he's just going to come down, all the way down the ice, and he'll take a shot there. So that's the first part. Um, this is all part of the first phase of the drill. As soon as this defenseman makes that pass, he's going to take and recover and pick up another pass and he's going to go D to D again. Okay, So he's going to go D to D right back to his partner and the same thing is happening on this side. So this winger is sliding down. As that pass is being made he's going to be swinging towards the middle. Okay, And turning up ice going all the way down for a shot on net. Okay, as this is happening, the centerman is simulating game situation, meaning um, he's shadowing the puck. And this is how I generally like to have my centerman play the breakout, is shadowing the puck slightly behind the play, um, basically so that in a game situation he's going to be coming like this, presenting himself as an option in the middle, even though in this drill we're using the board side option. Okay, so then as this defenseman picks up the puck and starts going for the D to D pass again, he's going to be pivoting and again shadowing the puck presenting himself as an option up the middle again he's not going to pick it up on this phase of it but after this second pass is made this defenseman again is going to pick up another puck go D to D again and this time the centerman will have still shadowed and he's presenting himself again as an option in the middle and this time he does pick it up in the middle okay so he's going to pick up the puck right in this area right here okay so we'll just draw that in real quick. Okay, so there's the third pass. 
And in case you haven't guessed, at this point, the centerman picks it up. He's going to go all the way down the ice and shoot. Again, these are all one on O's at this phase of the drill. Um, down the road, if you want to add defensemen down at the other end to come out and play these as one on ones, um, you can do that as well. So after the centerman goes, this defenseman is going to do one more D to D pass. Okay. Then that defenseman is going to pass up to the forward, and then he's going to follow his pass. Okay. So after he passes up to that forward, that forward is just going to do a little one-touch pass back to him. And then the defenseman skates all the way down the ice and takes his shot. So that is the very beginning phase of this drill. Now, like I said, there's a few other different variations. So what I'm going to do here is clear off the rink, and then I'll show you the other couple of variations as well. Okay, here's the next variation of this drill, and as you can see in this one, what we've done here is we've actually slid the forwards over, okay, towards the middle of the ice. We've slid the forwards over on this side too. We've put a coach kind of just right along the boards there, providing token resistance. Now, token resistance means you're kind of there, kind of getting in the way, but really you're not making a full-blown effort to stop this breakout. What you want your players to do is you're, you're kind of getting these players into the mindset of having some pressure there but your, your goal isn't to kill the drill completely. So token resistance there from the coaches. And um, what we've done here with the defensemen is we've slid them in um, so that there's some room for ring breakout pass here. Now, every now and then in a game, there is a situation where you need to ring the puck. Sometimes the, the ring is the only play that's available. So we want to have our forwards able to um, corral those ringed pucks and make something useful out of the play. So here's the next phase of this, which is going to accommodate a ring breakout. Um, so, same idea, first defenseman is going to take and ring the puck around, um, the first forward in line is going to go like this, and this is where it becomes a little bit more complex, first forward in line is going to swing in just in front of that coach, okay, and then he's going to redirect the puck to chip it out past that coach, okay, and he wants to chip it out so it's going to come through into the neutral ice, okay, just like that. Um, while this is happening, we're going to have this forward who's coming down. This is simulating kind of a, a defensive zone coverage setup where, you know, maybe the puck has gone from one side of the ice to the other. Now, in our defensive zone coverage, usually if a ring breakout is starting to materialize, the strong side forward who's becoming the weak side forward will swing down um, into that high slot area in case there is a turnover, in case the other team gets the puck back. But then as he sees that we're going to be the ones getting it, he's going to break out and cut across and he'll be the one picking up that puck for a breakaway. Okay, so he'll pick it up, turn up ice, go in and take his shot. Okay, after that happens, then you probably guess this defenseman is going to do the same thing. So he's going to fire a ring breakout. The next forward in line, okay, so this guy's gone. Next forward in line is going to slide in. Oops, sorry, we don't want that to be, uh, we don't want that to be a puck carrying line there. Okay, so he'll slide in, same idea, a little chip off the boards. Okay, chips it out into the neutral ice, and this forward from the other side who just did the chip is going to be swinging down, swinging across, picking it up, and now he's going to be attacking as a breakaway man. Okay, so same idea there. So that's the first rotation, second rotation is a ring the other way. While this is happening, okay, while this is happening, the centerman is shadowing again. So he's coming like this, shadow. Then it comes the other way, he shadows again. And then as it comes the third way, he shadows again, presents himself as a middle option. And on this particular option, we're going D to D. Okay, so we're going D to D up to the centerman. Okay, so D to D pass off the boards up to the centerman. Centerman's going to pick it up. And in this variation of the drill, he's going to drive wide. He's going to execute his own chip off the boards around the coach. Okay, chip off. And then he's going to kind of use that as a give and go with himself. So he's going to pick it up on the other side and attack down on a breakaway. Okay. Then on the very last rotation, it's going to be the same thing, except now it's going to go D to D. Okay. To this defenseman. This defenseman's going to take two steps with it. And then he's going to actually skate up ice. So I didn't mean to say he takes two steps. I mean he's going to get the puck, skate up ice, and he's going to execute his own 
chip off the boards to beat that coach. So there's the next phase of the drill. As you can see, this drill can get very, very, very complex. You can do a lot of different stuff with it in a lot of different ways. Um, I'm going to clear off the rink, show you one more simple variation, and then we'll call it a day. Okay, here's our last variation of this that I'm going to draw up. Um, obviously, you know, like I kind of said at the beginning, there's a, a ton of different ways of doing this. So you can add whatever other variations that you want. But here's a variation that you might use if you know you're coming up against a team that uh, uses the neutral zone trap and wanted to practice how to beat the trap. Um, so all you would do is it's the same setup as we had initially. And what you're going to do in this case is you're going to go D to D. Okay. This defenseman is going to pass to the forward who's sliding in. So this forward will slide in just a couple steps. Um, timing is huge on this drill in case you haven't realized that yet. He's going to pass up to this forward who's sliding in, and then this defenseman is actually going to follow up that pass a little bit, okay, and get the return pass from that forward. And then he's going to immediately fire it across ice to the other forward. Now in the case of beating a trap, you're actually not going to be as keen on cutting across the ice through the middle as you are in staying wide because as the trap materializes, um, the other team is going to be angling all their pressure from one side to the other. Um, that's the idea of a trap. So this is why it's so effective to beat a trap by going back and then cutting against the grain. So this forward will just be kind of swinging in, swinging back out, and picking up the puck there. And then he'll attack. And then obviously this is just one side of the play. The other side will be doing, you'll be doing the same thing on the other side. Um, during this whole time, the center is going to be shadowing the puck, shadowing the puck. Um, and then, um, but that's how the play materializes. So um, another great option. So D to D, up to the forward, back to D, and hard cross ice pass to the opposed, or to the weak side winger coming up the boards. So that is the um, full speed breakout progression. Works really well. There's a ton of different ways of using it, as you can see. And um, feel free to get creative with this one. It's a great drill.